Welcome back to another Yu-Gi-Oh deck profile. Today we are showcasing Bones and his deck. Let's get straight into it, shall we? I run three of his ace monster, and that is the Pump King, the King of Ghosts. 1800 attack, 2000 defense. Fun fact, he's really good in Duels of the Roses. Check that game out. Pretty much you play this and zombies on the field in each turn that you have. Your zombies get an increase of attack and defense by 100. Next up, we run two Crawling Dragon, 1600 attack, 1400 defense. I've given Bones a bit more firepower in his deck. This card fits into the theme of zombies pretty well. Patrician of Darkness, 2000 attack, 1400 defense. A card Bones plays in the duel against Bakura. And that is the snake here. 1500 attack, 1200 defense. We run three copies of Armored Zombie. 1500 attack and zero defense. The next few monsters, guys, have got zero defense. And that was the downfall of uh, Bones against Joey. Joey played Battle Warrior with Shield and Sword. Of course, <laughs> everyone knows what happens from there. But we run three clown zombies. 1350 attack. Of course, zero defense. Three copies of Dragon Zombie. 1600 attack, which is a decent attack, by the way, in character deck duels. But zero defense. I run three copies of uh, Magical Ghost. Decent attack of 1300. Reasonable defense of 1400. Run two copies of uh, Zombie, Zombie Tiger. 1400 attack, 1600 defense. Run two copies of Decayed Commander. 1000 attack, 1500 defense. And to round off his monsters, guys, the legendary card in uh, speedrunning circles. G Mammy, we call him. Well, Great Mammoth or Gold Fine. So, pretty much you need the snake here and Dragon Zombie as the fusion. Best monster in the deck by a mile, 2200 attack, 1800 defense. Rightio, Bones' spell cards now. We run two copies of Violet Crystal. So Violet Crystal you equip only to a zombie monster, it gains 300 attack slash defense. It just gives the zombies a little bit more X factor. You run two copies of Nightmare Steel Cage. A Nightmare Steel Cage for two of your opponent's turns. No monster on the field can attack. To get Great Mammoth a gold find out, we run two copies of Polymerization, of course. I run two copies of Premature Burial. So you just pay 800 life points and you special summon a monster from your graveyard into face up attack position. I run two copies of Pot of Greed. Alright, to the trap cards now. We run three copies of Call of the Haunted. And to round off the deck, I run two copies of Skull Invitation. Skull Invitation is pretty cool. Each time a card or cards is sent to the graveyard, inflict 300 damage to its owner for each card sent. Very useful. But hopefully you guys enjoyed that profile. I certainly did. Of course, my favourite card from the deck. G Mammy will Great Mammoth a Gold Fine. Like the video. Of course, check out the other profiles as well, guys. But for now, I'll see you later.